Hi, this is Chikudum. Welcome to Stand Here For Babaki Edition. Uh, this is the last edition I spoke to you about. Today we are going to talk about the helmet of salvation. What did Paul mean when he spoke about the helmet of salvation? What is that helmet of salvation all about? We're going to discuss it today. We're going to look at the mind and brain connection. We're going to look at several other things. Why wearing that helmet upon your head is very important, very vital for you to stand there for. Conquer your fears and get your miracles. Join me on the other side. Welcome back. Paul speaking in that place in Ephesians 6 verse 17. He said, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. So this helmet of salvation, you must take it. When you take it, you put it on. And it is said that this is the last kit that the Roman soldier puts on. By the time he is fully dressed, the last thing he puts on is to take off his helmet and he wears it. And he said, this helmet is made of metal and it's very, very heavy. You know, very, very heavy, thick to withstand any blow to the head. Protecting the head of the soldier is so, so important. And the Greek word there, translated helmet, is a compact word. Two words joined together. One means to wrap around, perke, and phalia means the head. Perke, phalia, you know, to wrap around the head. So this helmet of salvation is something you need to wrap around your mind, your head, and is a weapon that will enable you stand against the evil one it's a weapon that will deliver to you that miracle that you anticipate so much that breakthrough that you've prayed and asked for that stuff you're wondering when is it going to done when is it going to come wrapping around your head the revelation of salvation like you know the brain is a very 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 important organ of the body the brain is what keeps the body in balance it handles the homeostasis of the entire body he ensures that no part of the body is stressed beyond how it's supposed to be he ensures that all the functions of the body all the organs all the systems all work in harmony that is the function of the brain and it's so important to keep everything in balance now beyond the brain is the mind which is what i believe that paul was talking about there remember when you read the bible in second corinthians chapter 10 the bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty to god for the pulling down of stronghold for the pulling down of strong stronghold and one of the ways he talked about pulling down this stronghold is by casting down every vein all vain imaginations, things in our mind that have exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Those are the things that we need to cast down and how we're going to cast this down is by a constant renewing of our mind. We are supposed to renew our mind with the word of the Lord. With the word of the Lord. By imputing and depositing God's word on our inside we need to consciously change things that we are used to conversant with philosophies and thought processes that we are used to in the past and instill god's own style god's own method god's own philosophy because it's god's philosophy and style of doing things that will bring to us the miracle that we deserve brain detects that you are smiling it releases hormones that uh, will make you feel happy when you smile there are some muscles on your face that sends a signal to the brain that you are smiling the brain in response to that now releases chemicals that makes you feel good 
it that isn't that interesting so you can tell your brain that you are happy so your brain can release those chemicals beyond that do you know that if you clench I don't know if this finger is clear but let me just use an example do you know if, if you clench your finger right here between your teeth just clench your finger the muscles that is required for you to do this is the same muscles that make you smile now watch this you it looks as if i'm smiling and you see it's the same muscles that make you smile by just clenching your finger between your teeth the brain thinks you are happy and releases those hormones all of a sudden you feel good and you see how you can dictate to your brain how you can force your brain to think something that is not that same way your mind can do that to your brain the mind is so important that's why there are a lot of people that have talked so much about the mind being a battlefield because what happens in your mind determines what happens to you what happens in your mind determines if you're going to fail or succeed what happens in your mind determines if you're going to be happy or not what happens in your mind listen to this determines what will happen to you if you're constantly anticipating trouble sickness you know um disappointment and all that guess what you'll be experiencing it more often than you expect if you're pessimistic and you're not optimistic you're always seeing the bad of everything the negative of everything you're too negative guess what your life will be surrounded with negativity it is so true because that is how you attract things to you and with your mind you can choose what to attract to yourself and what not to so the helmet of salvation it is very 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 important oh, nice it's very 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 important to your succeeding in this battle in this standing therefore so i'm going to say this the enemy knows how powerful your mind is that's why your mind is on a constant barrage from the kingdom of darkness they are bombarding your mind every millisecond you'll be shocked the gang up against you is the gang up against your mind they are bombarding you with information, they are bombarding you with feelings, they are bombarding you with thoughts, they are bombarding you with auto suggestion. They are constantly on a barrage of missiles, wiles on your mind. That is why you need to wrap around your mind the revelation of your salvation. You won't, you're not going to lose your salvation. Two, Christ have done it all for you. God is not after you to punish you for something you did or you didn't do nobody from your village actually is after you because you are redeemed and once you are redeemed no one can touch you nothing can harm you this is one of the things you need to wrap around your mind when you do you will be able to stand therefore resisting the enemy Whatever he throws at you, whatever he throws at your mind, you will be able to withstand it. And the Bible says in 2 Timothy 9, chapter 5, verse 8, I'm going to read for you. He said, But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Very important. As we end, I want to end with this. This helmet of salvation, the bottom line is having assurance of your salvation. You can lose it, Jesus pay the price for it. I'm going to end with this scripture from Romans chapter 8, verse 32. I love these scriptures. The Bible says, He that spared not his own son, 
but delivered him up for us all, how can he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Nay, in all of this we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For we are persuaded neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present or things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. I want you to go with this assurance. You need to protect your mind. You need to guide your mind with all diligence. Like the Bible says, guide your mind. Wrap it all up with the word of God. With new creation realities. Wrap it all up with what God has said you are. Who God said you are. To what God said you have. To where you are seated in Christ Jesus far. Above all principalities and power. You need to be secured in this revelation. When you are, you are wrapping your head with the revelation of salvation. With that, resist the enemy. The Bible says, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Then, resist the enemy. Anytime you sense something that is out of the ordinary, once that thing is not giving life, once that thing has come to steal, kill, or destroy, open your mouth as a soldier and resist that thing. Command that thing to live. Use the sword of your spirit and inflict damage on that devil. Stand your ground and you will see God come true for you. See you at the next one.